Welcome back to another video, fam. Ah, feels good. Feels really good outside right now. So we've got to head out to the BMV. We've got to get a truck titled into my name so we can transfer it over to one of you guys here soon. I think when we get back, we're gonna to try to work on the third gen dually a little bit. When I say work on the third gen, I'm talking like an accessory. Nothing crazy. Now I think if I pull this knob out, my fog lights turn on. I guess not. Maybe we gotta turn it all the way over, then pull it out. There, let's see if that works. Still no fog lights. But the fog light indicator light is on when I pull it out. So maybe the bulbs are just burnt or not connected. We're gonna be installing some pods on the old third gen for the fog lights because the fog lights, here all this time I thought, man, these fog lights suck. They're not even connected. Can this camera stop shaking? That's a little bit better. So they're not even connected. The wiring harnesses, the plug-in. Somebody must have, when they painted the front bumper, my guy didn't do it, Cody had a guy do it. Whoever unplugged the front bumper to paint match it, did not plug back in the fog lights, unplugged the fog lights, I mean, didn't plug them back in clearly because they're not plugged in. So we're gonna attempt to wire up some of these fancy old things here. Boom. Sponsored by Nylite. Totally joke. They didn't sponsor this video. They would have, actually, why didn't I message them? I just went out and bought these, but I know that in the past you sponsored me with tons of lights. You, Oxbeam, every light bar company. If you guys have been around long enough, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove the fog lights on each side, which if you see the wiring here, it's just already like falling out of there. But there's nothing plugged into the outlet right there, so we're going to unscrew the bottom uh, Phillips head there, and then undo the two that are on the other one, and yes, we do have something coming in to fill in this ugly gap. It's actually blacked out, and it matches the bunker. It'd be pretty sweet, but um, we're gonna get to taking these out so we can make room for our pots. Try not to drop anything. Try to remove these. That's not gonna work. So here's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. I put the brackets on this way, which is the way you're supposed to do them technically. Well, I guess you can do it either way you want, but then I did this one where I put it on essentially backwards, but it works the exact same way. And what I'm thinking about doing is drilling a hole right here in the lower middle part of this plastic bracket and saving the steel bumper, running it through here, and it'll actually sit right in place of where the round ones were, and it'll be adjustable to tilt up and down, then I'll fasten it where I want it to be to where it's not gonna be blinding people, but it should work pretty well. We got some good news and some bad news. We'll start with the good news since everybody wants to hear that first. The fog lights slash pods fit perfectly. They look like they're supposed to be there, right in the center where the fog lights used to be. Just, of course, these will be way brighter. Check on this side as well. We've got the wiring here for the fog lights, I thought, and then for the light bar pod thing. Um, perfectly centered, nice and tight, bolted in there in the center of that plastic mounting plate that the nasty, dirty, water-filled fog lights used to be in. The only issue is when I hooked up the pod wiring to the fog light, I think fog light wiring that's sitting right behind where the fog lights were, nothing flipped on, and then on the other side, I can't even find wiring for the fog light. Been a little bit of a pain in the butt because I hear I'm thinking there's gonna be some quick, easy, like, yeah, let's get this done type deal. And the wiring either doesn't work, and I check the fuses and the little things and all that stuff, and the fuse box, and those are all fine. Kind of frustrating, because you would think this is like a project that like, you can't really mess this up. Like it's an easy peasy little thing. It's not working, so we're either gonna have to go buy some wiring, hopefully a local auto store, auto store has it, or we're gonna have to order wiring. Day two, we're getting this thing figured out, hopefully today. So I got the pods mounted up on both sides. Here's the fog light wiring. I put a new relay in up there in the fuse box and still nothing 
warped. So I'm gonna have to tape up these ends just so there's no like live wires down here in case they actually are somehow live, even though they haven't been working. Tape them up, get them tucked up and zip tied out of the way. And then I got an actual harness and then I just, you know, connected everything, fished it all through. And then I just popped the switch, just sitting through this hole that's already there for the brake, you know, for you to fit your hand on here to pull the brake. Well, I just set that there for now because I want to make sure that it works before I like put holes in the dash or something somewhere to put the switch in. So we're going to wire these up and hopefully, hopefully they work this time and everything's just good. So I went and bought a wiring harness at AutoZone because I didn't want to wait a few days. I wanted to get this done and it only had an end for one uh, light bar but it's for like a bigger one but I'm gonna do two small ones so what I'm gonna do is I got some connectors and some electrical tape and all that stuff so I'm gonna actually connect a second set on so that way I can hook up both pods to the one switch because that's the way I want to do it so I'll show you what it all looks like when I'm done okay now I'm no electrician so don't give me too much of a hard time but I use these butt connectors and I connected two red wires. I stripped the ends of them off, twisted them together real tight, and actually like really smashed them together really, really tight once I had them all twisted up to where they were basically one solid piece. Push it into that connector, then connected it to the one of the two ends that were on the end of this harness, which was the red one to the red wires here, and then the black wires to the black wire on there. That way everything's color coordinated. And then I just, after I connected those two, I separately wrapped them up with one layer of electrical tape, and then I jointly wrap them all together with electrical tape just to kind of clean it up um, to make it all seem like one piece there and it's real nice and tight so now we have to wire them separately wire up to that pod and then wire up to the other one i'm going to do one first and then just flip the switch to make sure that they work we have some good news the pods work at the flip of a switch got the pods put in wired up everything's perfect they look great they're aiming straight out not like down not like up in the air nothing stupid but I'm really not gonna use them like a ton in terms of like on road use there are so many times when I'm like out chicken camera where somebody shoots a deer and it's dark so we gotta you know load it up in the evening or whatever that you just wish you had more light on the front of the truck and this is just gonna make it so much nicer to be able to actually see stuff when you are let's say out on the farm at night or it's a late evening you just need some more light you need some more assistance with being able to see stuff or maybe even if you are on back roads and there's not a lot of traffic but you just don't like not being able to see very well these are going to be awesome and we do have a light bar coming in as well for that ugly gap right there but it's not here yet otherwise i would have just installed it with this video but it could be another four or five days before that shows up. So I wanted to get these in at least. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. I think it's a tasteful mod. I think it's a tasteful upgrade for the truck. I think it makes it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, but not only that, but it's functional. So I like that as well. So anyways, guys, if you want to enter to win this truck right now, every $1 is five times the entry. So every $1 gets you five entries, which essentially means every 20 cents is an entry towards winning this truck plus $5,000 cash, which that giveaway ends in about three weeks. And then on top of that, every single order placed today gets random cash in it. So if you want to get entered to win this truck, lmpgear.com, you can buy a hat, you can buy a hoodie, you could buy a key chain you can buy decals stickers or anything you want we just released a new shirt as well that's super freaking killer i think you guys are going to really like it it's a military green shirt that's all like uh, weathered front and back it looks so sick so go check that out if you want something new and fresh anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video i'll catch you in the next one peace